Hi, my name is Reese from the Eastern Suburb School of Music. Today, teaching you the bass line from this wonderful song. Chemistry by Mondo Rock, performed by the amazing Paul Christie. Love this particular album and this band, of course. We've got this riff that we're gonna use for the intro and the chorus of the song. We've got a verse to learn and a pre-chorus to learn. That pretty much gives us the whole thing, those three parts of the tune. So this riff here. Using our B minor. Scale. Uh, we have these notes, the root fifth octave to start us off, for those of you who know that technique. The B root to the B octave, so second fret of your third string to fourth fret. Then to the fifth, which is at fourth fret, how confusing is that? <laughs> off this bar of B minor, four on that second string, two and four on the first string. So break it up, I think in two halves. Just to make it easier to learn, and then following that B minor, we get this A. Once again, using the root fifth octave shape, but going from the higher note, going from the octave, and these frets are your second fret, string one, your second fret, string two, and your open third string. back into that, some passing notes to return to the B minor, second fret top string the F sharp, and to the open A, F sharp A, B minor, A, and there's your intro, and your chorus. What might make this easier to learn, I do have a Patreon page. You can pick up the tab sheet that I'm looking at just over here on that Patreon page, Reese Let. You'll find it in the video description below. Um, all the proceeds go to help out this particular music school stay alive after the dreadful 2020 lockdowns. All for a good cause though, those lockdowns. this video, work on those riffs over the B minor and the A chord, and when you're ready, let's have a look at what he does in the verse. The verse, we're getting a, a strong kick drum uh, pattern going here. The chords are D to B minor over this first line, so I've got the D to the B. So, using your Motown shape, if you've seen some of my lessons, you'll hear me talk about this. Motown shape a bit. D, fifth fret of your third string. Straight up to your A, fifth fret of your top string. B, the seventh fret of that top string. D. Do it twice. Then move back to B, second fret, F sharp, A. We've talked about those notes already in this video. D, here's the variation. We're going to the E chord. Well, we play that lick there. If you think of the vocal line there, he's playing along with the rhythm of the vocal line. So there's the D.
and that takes you through to the end of your verses. Let's talk about that E line. So the D, the octave, seventh fret on your second string, seven, six on the second string, up to your E, your seventh fret of third string, four, your F sharp, and seven back to your A over this E chord that's being played in the background. your pre-chorus there. That's your verse, let me play the verse in full. You might wanna look up my cover version, you'll find that by clicking the tab above, or the video below, description will take you through to link to that cover. Here's our verse, one, two, three. into pre-chorus it goes. Pause the video, learn that verse, and when you're ready, let's look at pre-chorus. The pre-chorus, we've got this riff. Where we're playing over a G chord and an A chord for the first six bars, three repeats of this riff, where we've got root, note, fill, note, root, note, fill, G, third fret of your top thick string, fourth string. Seven, five on your third string, the one underneath it. Then A, fifth fret. G, A. There is basically a whole pre-chorus before this awesome little riff. So there's that hook that takes you back into the chorus. How to play that? Over an E minor, open, third fret on your top thick string. The two that is on your third string to the four. Basically the E minor arpeggio with the added F sharp. That would make it an E minor at nine for those of you who know your music theory. And that acts as a leading tone into the G that's at fifth fret. So fourth fret moves to fifth fret, E minor arpeggio, lead G. Just to play that pre-chorus for you now, G. to the tune itself, look up my cover version, you'll see me playing along with it. Those three parts, if you've learned them, you've pretty much covered the whole song. I'm just going to talk about next about what you need to do to end the song. The outro of the tune, so it repeats the chorus part many times over, but then we get this... finish the tune out. F sharp, A, and then to your B, B, G, root fifth octave all played together as a chord, and you'll easily see that on the tab sheets that I've talked about during this video. Learn those parts, you've got the whole song covered. If you've learned something from this video, please subscribe to the channel, the Eastern Suburbs School of Music here on YouTube, always adding brand new Aussie bass lessons for you to play along with. Uh, click that thumbs up button, give this video a like please, and if you've got any questions, comments, or even a request 
for a tune you'd like to learn, leave them on this video. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Good luck learning chemistry by Mondo Rock on your bass guitar.